All right, today I'm back out on the uh, in the garage looking at my tractor boat. Um, this is going to be like a follow-up video, sort of a part two of um, the LED compartment lighting that I did. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I actually ran the wires for the back. I guess everybody knows how I did the front, got all the compartments lit up, as you see in the previous video. So everybody wants to know how... I got the wires in the in the seat, the live well, and back here in the battery compartment with the gas tank and everything, how I ran the wires up to the console. So I'm gonna go over this really fast. Um, it's really easy, I'm gonna hop up here. So starting with the, under the seat, as you know, these are four light pods on a string of wire. I'm gonna turn these on real quick. Okay, so I have, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's, well, the light's going to drown it out. But there's one there, there's one here, and then there's going to be one over there. And then, let me flip the camera back around. So there's going to be one here, one here, and it's stuck to the bottom of the aluminum. And then there's one here, and one here. So that's going to be one light set. Now, what I did... But this wire is, I just ran it underneath here, and then I drilled a hole right there. There's a hole right there where I was able to pass the wire up from underneath right here. Passed it up right there, and I just ran it under this, stuck it under that, and I actually just laid it behind the seat. I didn't take the seat up or anything. I just put it up here and wiggled it down and down on behind the seat. It's very tight. You got to pull the seat a little bit, but um, you can get it behind there. And then, so this is the, the right side of the driver's seat. I don't know if you can see. Let me get a flashlight. All right. So I got that wire tucked in there pretty good. Uh, so you can't see it, but it runs up in here and then under There's a hole in the console right there and it runs up in there. So um, It's very simple and then of course, you know, I just took it I did take this panel loose only because I was afraid what was behind the shifter if there was moving linkage I didn't want to stick a wire back there and then it you know moving this back and forth it rubbed the wire um, so I did take this loose. I don't recommend you doing it. It is a pain in the rear end to do. Um, I had to take the shifter off and all that stuff. I would just take something and fish it through. And then I took this panel off here. This is only like six screws and this panel pops out. So I was able to stick my hand in there. And then there's a panel underneath. You have this panel here that I have my box mounted to. Just drop that out and then you have access to all the underneath your wiring. So that's that one. And then the live well. Okay, so looking at the live well without putting the camera in there, you're gonna have one that starts here. I started here and let the wire run this way and around, okay? So there's one here, here, there's one right there. And then the fourth one on the light string is right there. Now, let me see if I can get you a good view. So now I have the wire, the excess wire coming up to this back corner. What I did was at the very, very top of the live well, I drilled a very, very tiny hole just big enough to get that wire to pass through there. And let me see if I can, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. All right, see that right there? That's the wire, that's the hole in the very top of the live well that I passed the wire through. Now that wire, I was able to get from the back of the battery compartment. So here's your live well. Okay, here's the wire running up inside and uh, underneath. So what you're gonna have to do is open your battery compartment. So you open your battery compartment up, you take your hand all right, so you take your hand and you're going to stick it up in there and you're going to reach 
and you're going to pull the wire through into the battery compartment for the um, live well lights. Okay, now um, I put two sets in here in the gas tank battery area. Now, two sets is a lot. It's a lot of lights, but I tend to go overkill when I do something. So um, I started up there. I put one, two, three, four, and then I had a wire hanging from that set. And then it went one, two, three, four, and then I had my wire from that set. So I have two wires from the lights in the live well, and then one wire coming in from my, uh, I mean, two lights, two sets of lights in the battery compartment and one coming from the live well. Okay, so I have those three wires together. So what I did was I took them and I ran them up here to the back into this grommet back here. Okay, they come up through this grommet and I have them in wire loom. I have three eighths wire loom and I have those three wires together and I pass them up through the grommet around up to the cables that go to the motor okay and then just follow it around all the way around i got it zip tied to the motor cables and throttle cables just keep coming all the way around all the way around okay and then you have this on the side you have this piece right here that covers up the throttle cables and all the cables go into the motor uh, so it's got three screws, it's got one here, and then one's under the carpet here, you can't see it, and then there's another one further back. So you just take those three off, and that pan, this panel right here, I'll just pull right off. Uh, so you just continue to run the wires through, get yourself a coat hanger or something. Um, if you use a coat hanger, you just tie the wires to a coat hanger, and run a coat hanger up through uh, all the way. And you can stick your hand in that compartment and reach back and you can kind of feel the coat hanger and then just pull the coat hanger through and it'll pull the wires through. And then after that, just pass them down and then you can access everything from under the console. And then you just tie them into your light on the side right there. Um, so it's pretty basic, pretty easy. Um, just make sure when you drill, that you know what you're drilling into. I mean, when I drill the hole for the live well, there's nothing on my boat behind the live well. So I didn't have to worry about anything. I looked first, there's nothing to drill into. So I was safe there. Just make sure when you do any drilling, you make sure you know what you're drilling into. Um, so like I say, it's pretty easy. Um, hopefully that clarified everything. If you have any issues, or any problems, I guess just leave uh, a comment in the comment section. And I will try to answer it if I missed it. Alright.